in my quest to do 15 things at once, I'm now watching L'Innocente. Did I say that right? Yeah, that's Italian. Did it matter? No. Can I say anything? No. Um, <laughs> looks like it's got, it's, um, Visconti, right? So, I think that's how you say it, right? Now I don't know anything. I was like, bring the box with you. I did bring the box with <laughs> ah! Yeah, it is. <laughs> These people. See, it's from the library. Everything I watch is either from the library or at most Redbox because I don't have any streamings right now and I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> I don't remember why. It was on a list. Don't ask why I, put, I was on my list of things to get out of the library later. So I said, let me watch it. I don't know why I put it on the list in the first place. Every list I have, watch lists, Oh my god, what else? Um, oh, save to watch later on YouTube. It's like 2,000 videos on there. So, okay. Let's see who the people were in it. Let's see if I surprise myself. Because there's like old dudes, like Giancarlo Giannini's okay looking, but he looked better old. Um, I don't want to get in noise trouble. <laughs> but, um,. There's possibly somebody I like in it. We'll see. Okay, the only other name I know so far is Jennifer O'Neill. So. But I just. Every time I look at all these names, I remember how bad I wanted to be Italian. Isn't it terrible? Fencing. There was a time when I thought, ooh, I should do fencing. So you know. Neil Diamond, who was a speaker at my graduation from NYU, went to NYU on a fencing scholarship. How do you like them apples? We love Neil Diamond, by the way. I'm not even kidding. I swear this girl walking, you know, they're walking toward the camera, not at the camera, but in the same. <laughs> Swish just tripped on a wire. <laughs> oh, like from the camera. <laughs> These dresses are my jam, though. This is my, oh man, back in the day when I wanted to be fabulous. I would have been like, bah, make me all these dresses. My mom made my um, prom dress. I saw my prom picture over there before. I should show you. It's stolen from, oh, I'll go get it. So this is my prom photo. Can you see the dress? Oh, why is it so shiny? You can't see the colors and stuff, can you? Um, that's my friend LJ, because, you know, nobody's going to ask me to prom. Anyway. <laughs> there was this movie I used to love, um, Italian movie, made, uh, by, I think it was Carlo Ponte, yeah. Um, Sophia Loren and Omar Sharif, More Than Miracle. Now, if we're talking about my favorite romantical type movies, based on, like, what's my favorite romance story movie, it's probably that, which is basically Cinderella. And it had another name, maybe Once Upon a Time in Italy or something like that. Anyway, it's, um... <laughs> It's wacky, and it's Sophia Loren, and um, so anyway, it, this is the and this is my mom's version. We tried our best. She, this is the best she ever did for me. Cause she made a lot of goofy looking stuff, and she was always doing it at the last minute. So, this was our version of Sophia Loren's dress, right? I'm Sophia Loren. <laughs> Sophia Loren's dress in More Than a Miracle. I mean, see, I, again, I wasn't fat. You could tell. Yeah. See? Ooh. Just saying. And I don't know that LJ wants me putting his picture on the internet, but maybe I should, like, blur him out or something. If I ever hear a word that I need to blur him out, I will. I haven't seen any of these people since high school. But yeah, the dresses in this, there's like a peach one over there that looks gorgeous and a red one over here with some sparklies. Definitely my jam. I was going to be so fantastic. And the chairs. Okay, on Arrested Development, Lucille, in her apartment, she had some awesome freaking chairs. And I had wished that had I been rich, I was like, if I win the Powerball, 
when, you know when the show went off the air I was like I want to buy Lucille's furniture <laughs> I like fancy furniture too I wouldn't use it like if I was totally rich I would have like a house with fancy furniture in it for show and then I would have the house I live in with like you know Walmart furniture that you could relax on oh god it's the dubbing why did they do this to me what the hell was going on in Italy? How hard was it to have Italian speak Italian and not do this ADR after? I gotta go see if there's some other kind of... Oh my god, was this supposed to be English? We went through this before with him. No, your only your only choices are English subtitles on off. It's not giving me... Because I went on setup. It's not giving me any kind of freaking language choice here. I mean, come on, man! I don't know if I ended up doing that. It was the what was it? Fizzy Canton? What the hell was it? The other movie of Wisconsin, The Leopard. Did I end up ever uploading that, or did I not finish? I think I fell asleep on it. Maybe I don't remember if I finished it. I was gonna do one of these because I love um I love Helmet Burger, and I was like, is Helmet Burger in this one? That's why I was saying maybe somebody I know is in it. I don't know. Helmet Burger is like the best looking guy ever in the history. Well, I mean, I have my kind of face that I like. Like, my favorite movie face ever is Klaus Kinski. Okay. In terms of movie faces. But Helmet Burger is probably the best looking guy ever. Also, I can't. Somebody did a Twitter thing the other day and I didn't even think of him. Damn. Anyway, you know who looks like Helmet Burger is Stefan Lambiel. So I'm just saying. But yeah, I was thinking maybe he's in this. I don't. I don't know. By the way, I did get contact lenses when I was in college, <laughs> but and so I wore contact lenses while I lived in New York. The minute I came back to this hellhole, it was like, what's the point? Oh my god, this burgundy, no, wine colored dress. Oh my god. Oh, I just want to run to the material store right now. Jesus. I love that satiny shit. I'm sorry. One time in high school... <laughs> I said, you know how people carve their names in desks, so they carve shit in desks. <laughs> Meant to carve Satan <laughs> and carved satin. <laughs> and I was like, did I do that? Because I am a huge fan of satin. I will never stop being a huge fan of satin. I love shiny things. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Honestly, though, I'm not a fan of the Downton Abbey shit, though. So this could be taking a Downton Abbey turn. I don't know because they're acting down to Nabby right now. I don't like rich people for rich people's sake. There's going to be stuff going on other than rich people complaining about the staff and shit. <laughs> I swear to God I want to marry this wallpaper. It's like red velvet wallpaper. My God. You know, when I was in college, and they're talking way too fast for me to read this fast. <laughs> I am not a reader. <laughs> Oh, he's married. Oh, no. I should try to just listen to it. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, when I was in college, <laughs> I went to the material store and I bought some black crushed velvet and I tried to stick it on the wall. <laughs> it just kept falling down. But... My ghetto life. This jackass is actually in love with his wife. Come on now. Honestly, the the subtitles are getting in my way of watching the movie at all because I'm just reading really fast. I feel like trying to understand the Italian, which is ridiculous. I'm gonna go back and watch that scene over again without looking at the subtitles. And let me tell you, I like the way it turned out. Yeah, it's not working either way. I cannot stand watching dub movies because with this is why when I'm watching my own thing and the sounds off, it's bad. So I try to fix it because I can't stand it. It looks like people are just eating air. I'm sorry, is this another chick who's not his wife? I'm kind of confused about who's his wife. Because we're in the same house. It's got a nighttime clothes. Domani parto per Firenze, no? Non so ancora quanto mi dà. 
I really, my eyes are going to the bottom instead of the whole scene. Like a beloved sister. Alright, I want to punch this guy in the face. First of all, he's not all bad. <laughs> this beard situation, I don't know why it's many colors and his hair is one color. I don't know what's going on there. Um... They agreed that their marriage was going to be their marriage and he was going to have affairs. Or whatever. So, this is the way. And it's like, whatever. And I'm like, he's such a pompous ass. I just want to kick him in the head. I mean, look, I get the olden times and I understand how they should have been. But you don't have to be a douche. I hate people. Oh my god, this is why I hate people. They use the L word like it's tissue. And you can just blow boogers into it and throw it away. <laughs> and I don't think people should use the L word in this fashion. You better freaking mean it. This is why I don't use it. Terrible. She should stab this motherfucker right now. Just saying. What's going on with the people in this movie? They look like they walk a pink eye. Like, they're all slightly teary. And nobody's eyes are white. Like, they're, um, whatever the hell you call the white part of your eyes. <laughs> Just forgot. What the hell's going on? This guy does have a cool tone to his voice. What the hell language are they speaking on the set? I don't get it. Why did they do this? Stefano Honestly, this chick got some nerve. I mean, if she's a widow and she can do whatever she wants, she shouldn't be sleeping with other people's husbands. Because I didn't know she was a widow before. That's why I was okay with it now that I know she's a widow. It's just not some young tart who got swept up. Hmm. She's doing slapping people like a lady. I like Egano better. Looks like his long-suffering wife... Wife. <laughs> wife might uh, trade up over here. Hmm. And yes, this is Downton Abbey shit so far, but it's an Italian with better dresses and marble columns and opera and shit. Like, real stuff. Yeah, not just your train was retarded. Because his train was late, and that's what he said in Italian. Yeah, she's like, you're just talking like I never existed. It's true, he's a total douchebag. Be patient with me. Fuck you. <laughs> the baby picture on the wall is hilarious. <laughs> Why is she making her veil tight? That's scary. Did they used to do that? Why? Ew. Mm. She's going around smelling like crab apples. No wonder. I was so busy looking at her tight veil. I didn't look at that dress. Oh. It's the kind that looks like a little suit on the top and it's tight with the corset and everything. Awesome. Actually, I'm looking at his hat and I'm realizing that the awesome dress that was just on the wife actually looks exactly, which I assume they took it from here, um, Winona Ryder and Dracula when she's walking down the street and she meets blood. Remember that nice thing she had on? I mean, it wasn't as awesome as this one. It was the same thing, almost. Yeah, I like this other guy with the dulcet tones much better. <laughs> he just walked right up in his face naked because he was staring at him in the shower. <laughs> Boss move. This pink and black number on Juliana. Wow! His dresses are killing me. I just want to attack all these people with some visine. Oh my god, these dresses. Oh my god, this one. What is this big pattern thingy? Oh my god, it's like a big paisley. Oh my god. They look like a me, but right, paisley? As I'm recording this, I'm uh, trying to fix some of the audio on the other ones I've done, and it's making it worse. Um... I'm complaining about the, how it looks on the dubbing on here, and then I'm looking at some of the ones I intend to upload, like, um, 
just when I was talking about the news and stuff, and another one that was the Ong Bank. Uh, no, Bank? What? <laughs> Ong Bak <laughs> Review. Did I say that? Anyway, um, and I'm fixing it, I think, and then when I go to export it, it's coming out wrong. So I don't understand what the problem is. So if this one comes out bad too, I apologize because I really hate that. But I'm trying my best and somehow it's not lining up right. It looks okay. Then it's getting processed and in the processing it goes back to not looking right. So um, anyways, I'm going to try to, I started to not feel well. It's getting a little bit warm in here and the air is a little bit off. The fan is on if you hear that noise. So, um, yeah, let me go back to this movie. What the hell is she kissing her dumbass husband for? I hate this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna assume all these people have allergies, and that's why they, all their eyes look teary because they all look like that cat photo that people are always putting where the cat's supposed to look like it's crying. Stop calling on your sister while you're smooching on her boobs, dude. Yeah, I couldn't tell if she really wanted to be there or not. She seemed like she wasn't deciding, and you have to be decisive in these moments. She's pregnant. How long has it been? Wait a minute. How's my dude with the dulcet tones and the fencing? Yeah, she's been nauseous and dizzy and all that shit, but she's been dizzy and whatnot since before. She should be in her third month. They haven't been telling me how much time's going by. So how am I supposed to know whose kid this is? Did she did she not hang out with my friend over there? Because she was dizzy before. How many days have gone by in this movie? <laughs> the headphones came on because I'm editing and um, watch. I'm editing something else while I'm watching this because again I can't do one thing at a time. Seriously, though, why do old ladies have to tell people shit that it's none of their business to do? The wife looks familiar to her. Oh, Juliana. I don't know why. I'd probably know most of these people old. Wait, she's taking sleeping pills still and she thinks she's pregnant or she doesn't think she's pregnant? Wait, wait a moment. Now you sp I don't know. I, d I am not a fan of medications of any kind over the counter or whatever, so... I don't like taking them no matter what. So I don't know what you're supposed to do and not supposed to. Like I said, I was never in that predicament. I mean, what? Why are you going to throw away that hot guy for this crap? How the hell are we going to know whose kid this is? Oh, he's changed a lot in the last few days. My fucking foot. Mm-hmm. Now scratch me. Start from scratch. Is there going to be a duel over the baby? Mother told me already. What the hell, man? This lady can't keep her mouth shut. Oh, she already lost a baby. Hmm. This guy's schizophrenic or something. Last time he was telling her, like, ten minutes ago. Ten minutes ago. Three minutes ago, movie time, he was like, eh, we'd be back together and it'd be so awesome and blah, blah, blah. Now he's like, so you're getting rid of it, right? Because he figures, well, you can get rid of it because you lost the last one, so people will think you just lose babies. I mean, that's what, <laughs> that's how I translate it from the original Italian. But I kind of want to smack him in the head with a shovel. You know? She shouldn't, you know... Dulcet tones guy. Why would you go back to this piece of shit? He's like totally gaslighting her. What the hell, bro? Oh no, you got a destination. You're going to hell. Yeah, you do. You're going to hell. I just wanted to call him a lily livered sack of shit. <laughs> Lily Liver just came right into my head. That's so funny. Lady, you gotta get something to stab him with. 
Lady, your husband is Satan. That's why he has that stupid facial hair that don't match his hair hair. Get away. Yeah, you go to Rome. I'm gonna go beg the dulcet tones guy to take me back, you son of a bitch. His brother or whatever, his little friend here, looks like Matthew Carter. You invite him and I'll just turn up. He's playing some kind of sabotage. Or subterfuge. Or something with some of those letters in it. It's not good. I totally thought Jennifer had fruit on her head just now. I kind of forgot about her. My hair's kind of messed up. I want to pick up right where I left off. Uh, looks like Filippo is between life and death for some reason. I don't know why, because I was like, she should be with him, but whatever. This seems way louder than it was before, and I haven't touched the volume. Anyway, he's over here having the papers. Wait, he thinks his, his, his friend brother, whatever, thinks his mistress was hanging out with Filippo. I'm so confused. Filippo's my guy, right? Name tags. He's such an idiot. I can't stand him. No way. Filippo died. The newspaper says a morto. Filippo de Aborio. Damn it. Maria. La signora ha chiamato. No, Asshole put the newspaper on her breakfast tray. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hate him. This bitch is like, I told you he was sick, right? Oh, I could have sworn I told you. You know what? <laughs> He's telling the doctor to save the mother, meaning kill the baby. If shit should hit the fan. A baby boy. Both safe and sound. <laughs> she won't look at the baby for some reason. This old lady is going to tell the brother. Oh my god. So neither one of them look at the baby. Come on. It's like Catelyn Stark. He's going to hate this baby. Now he's beating her because she likes her kid. Wonderful. These people are fucking nuts. But they have all this stuff. She's got a cute little baby. She's got to pretend she hates the baby. It sucks. Snuffocate this asshole in his sleep. <laughs> he said it pleases the peasants to see their masters dressed well or something like that. Why? They're not masters. When is this? Does he mean they're betters? That was weird. Oh no. What is he skulking around? Do, do not kill that baby, I swear to God. He's skulking around. Did they leave him alone with the baby? Waiting to see what he's doing. The fan's been on this whole time. I don't know if I mentioned it before. Oh, the nanny's there. And he's sending her to mass. Uh-huh. I meant for her to smuffocate her husband. Not for the husband to suffocate the baby. Come on. Now he's going to listen to me, right? Do not. Do not. I hate people so much. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait, he just opened the window? Looks so freaking sinister. I'm trying to give the baby a cold. I mean, I thought it was gonna like smuffocate it. I like saying smuffocate, I know it's not a word. She starts cow and everybody's here. Oh shit, I gotta go home. Oh, did she just put her head down? Come on, lady. This is what I think. This is why the women of old were so the way they are. Like, they feel like they can't do nothing, but. This guy been psycho from the beginning of this movie. Sounds like a duck. What are you doing? He's got it like it's a freaking cheese, like a big cheese. Do not throw that baby out the window. Oh my god. He's putting it outside. I mean, it's snowing. He just left it on a table. On the patio, he left it on the table. <laughs> if this movie ends like this, everybody's on their way home. He's putting the the cold ass baby back in the bassinet you know I hope that baby was tough enough Why would she stay why would she stay with this guy at all? Like before the other guy got malaria and died or whatever. Your baby's not breathing. Wonderful. Is there a doctor here? We got one? At the table? He's moving. If he's not breathing, what's he doing moving and looking right at you? He's <laughs> moving his little arms and legs. I don't know what kind of baby who's not breathing does all that. Stay with me. I'm a lady. Doing. 
she went in the other room and stood up against the wall like this. I don't get that. This is completely evil. I had no idea what this movie was about. Not kidding. I just, it was on my list. I think I put another Visconti movie on my list because I watched the other one. Oh my god. She passed out. No, she just laid down on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. So she's saying she stayed with him and did all that, like, acted like she liked him to save the baby. That doesn't make any sense. I get the idea in the olden times and stuff like that. People always made the wrong decision. You take the baby and run. You take the baby and run. Well, I believe she was crazy. Well, good, you should hate him. Women have the extraordinary capacity to adapt reality to the romantic ideals of the worst literature. It's true. That's why guys like him get over. This crazy bitch is saying the cold didn't kill him, which it might not have. Because I was thinking maybe the baby's tough enough, but still. He, yeah, he, he like psychically killed him with his brain. It's his first time she's been in his house. Oh, that, oh my god, that like, what do you call it, cape? Oh, the green lining. I'm telling you, whoever did these outfits. She's saying the house resembles him. And it does. I was like, it's cold. Oh, she's going to tell him what the ugly is. <laughs> I don't understand the chick who would still want to be with that guy. That it's like, oh yeah, I put the baby outside in the patio. Oh no, you didn't, it's not your fault. No. I don't understand that chick. They exist. A lot of them do. You see, people like him have no soul in the first place. That's the thing. I don't know why I was just like, he must be an Aries. <laughs> okay, she just called him a monster and said she doesn't love him anymore. He's really not attractive. I mean, he's alright. You could do better. Huh. Let's go back for that one, too. This is philosophizing like crazy at the end. Get what she said, and for some reason, I'm rewinding it super slow. <laughs> but if one day I became aware that I am in control of my life, I wouldn't want to feel unworthy of it. I like that. <laughs> Now leave me alone. <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> oh, I unfocused myself. I think she just left. I paused it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's finish this. Oh, she's still laying there. I thought he was by himself. Forse ho bevuto troppo. 
non dormire. Impossibile. Non so. Oh fuck! <laughs> There's a guy. He just opened the drawer. There's a gun. Who are you killing? Um. Non dormire, ti prego. Voglio farti vedere come so concludere. Who's conclude? What? Oh wait a minute. I was honestly at this point. I was really getting into it. I'm like, I might have ended up giving this thing a nine. Bro, what? I've heard the title of this movie. I what? That's how you shot yourself? He shot himself in the heart. I was about to say, Jayun, I'm solitaire. Dude, you should have done that a long time ago and saved everybody all the problems. Baby'd be alive. Filippo would probably be alive. You probably gave him malaria. Yeah, you kind of caught. I was gonna say you got Costa shit. Remember when Costa shit was supposed to be Palpatine's name? <laughs> anyway, you caused all the shit, lady. Kinda, really. You played a part. There are dead people everywhere. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what? And look at that beautiful uh, cinematography right there. Mm hmm. I mean, even with the bad dubbing. Damn. What do I think? I mean, he shot himself. I mean... I mean, people are this lousy. I mean, this movie is the truth. I mean, but the bad dubbing, I mean, I, like, the last, I don't know, like half an hour was kind of so perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm debating with myself. Should I? I mean, he put that baby on a table on the patio. And then she said, like I do, well, maybe with the baby's a strong. See, I mean, oh. Hmm, and those costumes. But it had the bad dubbing, though. But I mean, I guess that's how they thought they had to do it back then. I mean, I don't know. Nine over ten. Nine over ten. I kind of. I mean. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Ten out of ten. <laughs>